Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a bit of ink blending and a bit of stenciling and a bit of die cutting I think. I've got a panel of mixed media paper here and I've used this circle die to create this mask out of a scrap piece of paper because I want to blend onto my mixed media paper. So you can use a stencil, a ready-made stencil if you've got one, or you can cut a stencil out of a bit of packaging. But I've just got this bit of scrap paper here. And I'm going to attach my DIY stencil to my panel of mixed media paper using some washi tape. And that will just stop my mask shifting around. So for my blending, I'm going to do blue violets today, I think. I'm always drawn to pinks and teals, but I feel like changing it up a bit and doing a bit of blue violet. So I'm going to use Serene, which is from the Spa Collection of Catherine Poole Inks, Frosted and Serenade, and these two are from the Party Collection, but they're all blue violet. I've got my purple blending brush here. I'll just brush it off to get any residual colour off and we'll start with frosted I think as it's kind of the lightest colour and come in from the side and I think I'm going to try and blend the whole circle in frosted. So I find with these Catherine Pula inks, it's a good idea to just try and build up the colour gradually when blending. And then they tend to smooth out better, I find. I think that's a fairly even coat. And if I have a little peek in there, I can see that that has coloured it nicely. Now for a bit of Serenade, which is the next darkest colour, or the darkest of the colours, or the more saturated, one or the other. And I think we'll come in from the bottom and try and keep it towards the bottom so the top of that stays frosted. If I open that up again, I can just about see that there's some serenade showing through. I find blending with oxides, distress oxides, a lot quicker, but you get a more opaque finish because they're an opaque ink, whereas these are dye inks and they've got a transparent nature. So it's just about, as I say, building up gradually, slowly blending the ink on and now for some serene so this is a more muted color it's almost gray really but it's a nice shadow color so i'm going to just keep that down here right at the edge in there yeah I think we're good I'm not going to take that off because I'm going to stencil through it and I'm going to use this stencil here which is a branchy leafy blossomy stencil I think it will work quite nicely coming in from there maybe having a little bit here so I'll tape this down again so it doesn't shift and I'm going to do a little bit of DIY glitter paste. If you want to know more about DIY glitter paste, then check out the video. I will link it above and in the video description. Basically, mix some PVA with some glitter. And I've managed to reclaim my regular spatula from my daughter. And now I'm going to carefully spread it through my stencil, trying not to squish it under the stencil. And 
and I'll take this washi tape off carefully and carefully lift this and that can just go in the kitchen for a wash and I'm going to take this mask off now and I'm going to leave that to dry and come back to it when it's all dry. So that is mostly dry now, but I think my circle needs a frame around it. So I've got two sticky notes here, and this is a circle that I cut the stencil or the mask from, and this is the next size up. So I'm gonna pop those together on these sticky notes, get them aligned, and then run those through my cutter bug with some mixed media paper so it's the same paper as this. So there's my frame. I shall add a little bit of glue around the outside. Yeah, I think I like that. It's almost like you're looking out of a window. And now what I'm thinking is cutting a couple of leafy bits from some more mixed media paper and adding them here. maybe like that I did think about cutting off the twiggy bits where it hits the frame but I actually quite like them coming out of the frame a bit I think maybe crossing over there so I just spread out some high tech glue there and dip my leafy bits in Press that down there, like that. For my sentiment, I've got this Here For You die. So I'm gonna cut that again from the same card as that. And I'm gonna use this bit here. Just add whatever colors left on my brush. Dip the sentiment piece in this glue. Stick that on there like that. Press it down. And then trim that out. I'm just figuring out where I want to put it. So I was thinking there, where it crosses over those leafy bits. Could go there, would look quite nice also. But I'm thinking there. And I'll just settle that there. But I'm going to pop a little bit of card under this end so that it stays level. And I'm thinking about adding a few enamel dots in this very pale teal. Because I do like the combination of teal and purple. It brings in another colour, a bit more dimension but they're pastel, so they're not too in your face. I think we'll keep them within the circle. So for my card blank, I've got a five by seven-ish smooth white card stuck card blank, and a wee bit of glue on the back of that. Add this on here, and I think I will trim this down so that I've got the same size border here as here. And so now my card blank is five by just over six and a half, and I think that works quite nicely. Okay, so I think that card is done, and I think it's something you could do with whatever you've got in your stash. You need circle dies, leafy dies, some kind of sentiment die, some kind of stencil, and you're good to go. If you make something like this, I'd love it if you came to my Facebook group and shared a photo, because we'd all love to see it. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, then do subscribe, ring the notification bell, let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, all of those good things, and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.